everybody that has a 401k, please check it five years or eight years before you are retired or trying to retire. I heard a lady say last night on the training that her, her 401k had 500 grand in there on paper but when it was time for her to really break it down for retirement, it was less than half of the money she thought she had. Because 401ks have 10 to 14 different fees. They charge you going in and coming out. Some people don't have money to survive for the next three to six months. Some people don't even have money to survive the next 30 days. Huh. The problem is when we was getting all the stimulus, everybody was splurging. It wasn't really focused on saving or investing. So we got to get into saving and we got to get into investing. Unfortunately, if you don't have a minimum of 10 grand in the bank for bills, investments, a rainy day, if you don't have at least 10 grand stacked away somewhere, stashed away somewhere, not the money you have in 401k or money you got in stocks or money you got in crypto. If you don't have 10 grand in your bank account for a rainy day, for an emergency, <laughs> or at least six months, of bills unfortunately you're going to be poorer this next recession is going to be brutal brutal see i've been preaching for about maybe the five last five years start a business start a side hustle Start learning new skill sets. So when it's time to make the necessary moves for you and your family, you and your family can make the necessary moves. No adult should be broke. No adult should be begging for $40 every two weeks. No adult should be jealous of another adult. No adult should still be living with their parents. See, the poverty mindset will have you thinking living with your parents is a flex. The poverty mindset have you thinking as long as I got my hair done, my nails done, <laughs> I'm winning. The poverty mindset will have you thinking that being on Section 8 is a flex. The poverty mindset will have you thinking welfare and government assistance is reparations. The sad part about poverty is that you never get ahead because your mind won't let you. So... And people say, oh, what is poverty? You know, I'm not in poverty. I got money. If you don't have life insurance set up for your kids and for yourself, and I'm not talking about through your job. I'm talking about having your own life insurance that you take care of. If you don't have at least 10 grand in the bank for emergencies or for anything that can happen, if you don't have 
investments where your money is working for you and you got more bullshit in your closet, your TV is bigger than your bookshelf, you're in poverty. You're poor. So the rich get richer and the poor gets poor. People in poverty don't care about their credit. People that's poor don't care about their credit. Rich people and wealthy people, oh, they make their credit a priority because they know they can use their credit to leverage and get money. Poor people and people in poverty don't give a fuck about credit. So the government and banks know that people that are poor or in poverty don't care about credit so what they do is they make trillions of dollars off your ignorance they make trillions of dollars off you being stupid they make trillions of dollars off you being poor and in poverty so being in poverty and being poor is a sin being in poverty being poor is a sin because God wants us to help each other. And if you're poor and you're in poverty, how can you help somebody else? You can't. Being broke and being poor. is the worst it can ever get. But the good thing about being poor and in poverty is that you're already at the bottom. And know you gotta look up to see the top. So, yeah, it's a bad thing. So yeah, it's a bad thing, but it's also a good thing depending on how you look at it. If you're on Section 8, use that Section 8 to your advantage. If you're on government housing, assistance or whatever use that to your advantage don't stay on the government forever don't use that as a crutch and say oh you know this is my life no use that to get ahead so eventually you could go buy your house eventually you could get off the government assistance but you got to work got to work right i told i did a class sunday and i said the worst thing that happened to black people is social media Right? The worst thing that happened to black folks is social media. Black people, all they gotta do now is rent shit, do their hair, do their makeup, go get a haircut, go get a fly car, and post it, and now you get a whole bunch of likes. And, and now you think you're doing something because you got a bunch of likes and comments, and you got a bunch of followers Meanwhile, you're poor. Meanwhile, you're in poverty. Meanwhile, your credit is 400. Meanwhile, you're paying triple and quadruple for every fucking thing. You don't have a friend to start a business with. You ain't got no family that got no money. It's terrible. It's terrible. That's why for me, I'm not interested in poverty. I'm not interested in being poor. I'm interested in being wealthy and being rich and having many, many resources and opportunities. Hopefully, that's you too. Nobody really wants to be poor. It's just that we end up poor because we don't understand getting rich and being, in and, and, and being wealthy. We gotta get into the wealth building and it starts with your mindset. So mindset is everything. Your mindset is everything. Change your mindset. So make sure you guys are tapping into my summer sale. My Black Wealth class on sale. My Facebook course is on sale. My Amazon class is on sale. My Shopify course. 
get into it guys get into it